Jesus, little baby Jesus didn't have no room, no place in the world to be born. Everywhere Mary went, Jesus' mother Mary, for him to be born, there's no room. And nobody would let her come in. They turned away everywhere she went. She went to the hotel. They had a big hotel there. They was just had plenty of rooms, whole lot of rooms. Joseph carried on up the walk there to the old manager place where he was sitting. He looked at her, the bell boy, the postman, the matron, the wave. His servants were standing there, and they saw that harsh, mean look that he had on his face when he turned poor Mary away. Said, "No room, no." No room here. You know, I wish I had been there. I'd have given her my bed, and I'd have got up and sit up if I had to sit up on the floor. God couldn't have turned, turned them away that way. I'd have got her laid in my bed and tell Joseph, her husband, Joseph, I reckon that was her husband, must have been, carried her somewhere else to their home. They wasn't going to live there always. And so they had went everywhere that they know to go. Mm -hmm. That was bad, too. Joseph was riding a mule, him and Mary. He made her sometime ride on the mule, and he walked, and she, he ride, and she'd be walking. Poor Mary, she was suffering in pain. Jesus was to be born. So it's nothing else Joseph sided in his mind. It was a shame to just lay down on the ground right there for Jesus to be born. He wanted to get under some kind of shelter. Mary and Joseph journeyed on back down to this barn where they had left the mule that they was riding. He had a place to stay and they didn't. Those steers and those bulls was looking through the crack, big old cracks in the barn. They was looking at them coming on down that way. They was looking at them as to say out of their eyes, I wish they would come in here. We'll get back and let Jesus be born. And they was just looking at her, breathing with big old wishful eyes. I do believe their eyes was full of water. Oh, big mean-looking bulls. They were better to Mary than people was. They got back, got off in corners, and made room for Mary to come in so she could lay down and Jesus be born. He had to be born in that stable on that nasty old hay, trotted in by those cows and things all night. The oxen got back and let little baby Jesus be born on the hay. And they breathed that warm breath there to keep him warm. He was naked. He didn't have on a thread laying in hay. You know what hay is, don't you, child? He's just laying in the hay. I can remember when I was a child, we had a very, very gentle cow. Her name was Mary. And my older sister used to go out and milk her. She'd sit on the box and be milking, and I'd stand in the front of a cold, frosty morning, white frost, and I'd be just wringing my hands like this, and her warm breath would keep my hands warm. I'd walk up and let her breathe down in my bosom so she could keep me warm down there, just chilly. Well, that's what they did to baby Jesus. They breathed that warm breath, as all of them breathed at once to keep him warm till his mother Mary could find something to wrap him up in. If I had been there, I sure would have given her uh, one of my old dresses. I'll uh, give her anything to wrap him up. Anything she would have took or wanted in my house, I'd have given it to her. I love Jesus. He had a hard time coming into this world. He had to go and be born in an ox of manger in a stable, be born on hay. And that's the reason I love him, and I want you all to love Jesus with all your might because we have a hard time you know that yourself we do we have a hard time